Hello everyone, this is going to be a general reading for the sign of Gemini for the next three months. So let's see, Gemini, what's going to happen in the life of Geminis in the next three months? Please tell me about Geminis, Geminis in the next three months, what's going to happen in the life of Geminis in the next three months? Oh, wow. Look at these cards, Gemini. Wow, this is great. Okay, so right in the center of the reading, you've got the Page of Swords, which is a card of communication, of messages. So you're going to have a, quite a busy month in terms of, you know, relating to people, talking to... Uh, a busy month, sorry. Uh, in, in terms of relating to people, talking to people, communicating. I'm going to pull out more cards uh, to clarify and see... Uh, what this um, what these messages are going to be about but just so you know uh, this is not the next three months are not going to be months for you to be you know on your own doing your own thing no they're going to be months of relating relating to others now in your thoughts you've got the ten of pentacles which is a card of financial security you're also going to be focused on your financial well-being, you know, making money, generating money. Money is going to be very prominent in your life uh, and especially in your thoughts in uh, the next three months. Now, in your near future, you've got the lover's card. Wow, great. You've got some love coming in as well. So uh, that's going to be very nice in the distant future. You've got the Four of uh, Swords. Uh, I think that, um, you know, towards the end of this period, let's say in the third month uh, from now, um, you're also going to have a period where you're going to rest. You know, you're going to feel that you need some rest, you need some recuperation. It's possible that the first period, you know, the first, let's say, two months are going to be quite busy for you. And then um, as you progress, as you move forward, um, you're going to see that things are going, you know, to slow down a bit. Now, in what you don't know uh, is the Wheel of Fortune. There are going to be some changes happening in your life and it's destiny coming into play. Uh, you're going to see that you're going to have some, you know, situations, opportunities that are just going to come out of the blue. Uh, you weren't expecting them, but just so you know, it's destiny at play there. They were meant to happen, okay? It's something beyond your control, Gemini. Okay, so let's see. Let's clarify. Um, why is the Page of Swords here in the center of the reading for Gemini in the next three months? Why is the Page of Swords? Okay, so you're going to be talking about some, you know, relocation, possibly. Um, or, you know, communicating with someone who is at a distance from you. But um, whatever this is, it's not going to be something that, you know, fully satisfies you. There are going to be some regrets here. If it's an actual relocation or some sort of travel journey that you want to take, um, it's not going to be, you know... Mm, all roses and honey, you know, uh, you're not very happy about making this trip, you know, relocating or and so on. It's possible that, you you know, it's hard for you to leave behind your friends, your family. But um, you're going to be talking about this and, you know, messages back and forth, you know, if it's a new workplace, if it's a new, you know, moving to a new city you're going to talk to you know landlords and so on to find a place to to live and uh, that that uh, that kind of um um th th those kind of deals uh if it it isn't a relocation and it's a you know messages with someone from that lives at a distance from you the fact that they are far away from you is going to you know be a bit um it's going to make you sad, you know, the fact that you're talking is going to be very enjoyable, but it's going to be a bit bittersweet because they are so far away from you, okay? So let's see, why is the Ten of Pentacles in Gemini's thoughts in the next three months? Why is the Ten of Pentacles in their thoughts? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're really hoping for emotional connection and, uh, you know, stability and uh, love. 
quite possibly if this is a you know communication with a lover who lives at a distance from you uh you're really thinking about making this work making it happen in the physical real world and you're very hopeful about it you're very hopeful about this brand new yeah, or it's not necessarily new but about this love connection and uh but you know that you're going to need money to make this happen and uh but but you see it as something that uh, has def definite potential for becoming stable and solid and grounded and uh uh you know um making it you know a, a long term uh relationship and that's going to be your uh you know your thoughts how do i make this work how do i make this happen because we have this distance between us so uh that's going to be uh what you're going to be thinking about so let's see the lovers why is the lovers in the near future for gemini why is the lovers in the near future for gemini okay so uh gemini uh this love connection that you've got is very you know tied to uh the financial uh aspect of uh, of it um basically it's going to come out it comes out in your thoughts and it comes out in the future as well this love connection exists it is present in your life you've got someone and you love each other there are real uh you know feelings between the two of you and they're mutual it's just that because of you know lack of finances things are not going to pro progress the way uh, you want them to and you know this and you're thinking about this and you're hopeful that you know i i, I can make more money in the future and i'm going to you know be able to um, you know, move to this person or make it happen with them but in the in the near future what i see is that you know this love connection is going to continue of course but because of you know lack of finances it's not going to go as smooth you know there are going to be so some setbacks and that's why uh money money is the the problem here uh let's see in the distant future the four of swords why is the four of swords in the distant future for gemini okay so in the distant future i see a lover here and it's possibly this person who you're talking to uh as i said earlier this man loves you gemini don't doubt it it could be a water sign man but who whatever the the their sign is or you know not just a man because there it could be you know the genders could be uh reversed here uh but this person uh loves you uh and i do think they're going to ask you to move in with them because the four of swords is a card of rest but it's also a card of you know an actual bed you know and living in someone's house so i think this person is going to ask you to go and live with them move where they are but you're going to be really indecisive about it why because of money again you know see this card juggle someone uh, juggling money uh basically you don't know how uh, you're gonna make ends meet if you possibly live, leave behind your job you don't know if you're going to find a new job where this person lives and so on so you know money is so prominent in this reading for you gemini and you, you know basically to make this love connection happen uh you, you do need money and that's that's the problem here okay let's see what the wheel of fortune brings you why is the wheel of fortune in what gemini doesn't know why is the wheel of fortune in what gemini doesn't know <laughs> oh yeah wow look at this so all all all, all of this reading was about love and money and look what the wheel of fortune brings you love and money so gemini uh there's clearly a beautiful beautiful love relationship here and out of the blue uh you're going to see that it's going to work out for you because you're going to have some good luck that is also going to bring you an opportunity to make money to in order to make this relationship happen so you're going to see that uh you're gonna be able to find a job or this is actually a card of generosity the six of pentacles or if if this isn't money earned from a workplace from an actual job then someone is going to be generous with you either your lover here the guy who is uh, asking you to move in or 
somehow some someone is going to help you with money they're going to be like okay gemini you i i know you want to go there i know finances are tight here you go here here's the money that you need you know a family member someone someone like that but you're going to see that unexpectedly the wheel of fortune you know destiny brings you this great financial opportunity that enables you to move forward with your love connection here so this is a great reading gemini i do hope it plays out in your life as beautifully as i see it here in the cards because it's a great reading i wish you good luck with your situation and i'll see you in my next videos bye for now